listening to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you your morning dose of business and technology Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Be sure to subscribe now so you never miss an episode. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettes out there in Gwinnett Land and all of my friends around the world. It's a cold day here in Gwinnett County, 30 degrees, only going to a high of 33 I don't have to go nowhere today, and I'm not going because I don't want to be cold. So listen, guys. Oh, my God. I'm telling y'all, the pivot is real, baby. The pivot is real. So I, you know, I have to, I have to, I just have to say thank you for listening to me. I've been doing Good Morning Gwinnett for five years, and I love doing what I do, and I, and I constantly try to figure out what I can do to make it better. And I got some feedback for the first time yesterday. It was so funny because you you guys have been listening to me. I think for the last two years, I've been talking about how to make Good Morning Gwinnett a better show, how to pivot, how to do this, how to do that. I've been trying to figure that out. So I played around with different things and different formats and things like that. The format that I love is getting up at, and doing my show at 10 o'clock, Monday through Thursday. I love that format. And then I was trying to figure out, you know, what to do about the, um, the content. Should I do video? Should I not do video? All these different things, right? And I love doing music. I love doing music. So music has always been like a part of the show. I'm going to do one song in the show, y'all. Just one. And that's in the middle to break up the monotony of me talking for like 30 to 45 minutes. But so what I decided was, I was like, okay, let me, let me really, let me really hone in on Good Morning Gwinnett, like on all my platforms. And it's all over the place. It's on YouTube. It's on LinkedIn. It's on Instagram. It's on Facebook. It's, I have, and then it's on all of the podcast platforms, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeart, everywhere. But I felt like I was missing something and I couldn't figure out exactly what it was. And I, and I felt like this for the part of the last two and a half years. I'm missing something. It's not growing. I've done, today make my 1,046th episode of the show. 1,046th episode of the show. And I'm still trying to figure out how to grow the show. And I couldn't figure it out, right? And what I learned, and I, because I went to, I remember I remember going to PodFest. And I remember them saying, you can make the show whatever you want to make. And I said, okay, cool. I tried to make this a radio show. That's what I tried to do. And people listen to podcasts. What I've learned, people listen to podcasts to be educated and entertained. However, my show is so hyper-local, I don't think I was, I don't think it was that entertaining. And so my ego wouldn't let me really see how to make the change. So yesterday I was sitting here, I was doing everything about the show and, um, looking at all my platforms, especially my YouTube platform and all, cause people, people have come behind me. Remember I've been podcasting since 2009. They're not doing, they're doing podcasting. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? So I sat here and I'm changing all the artwork. I'm doing all these things. I'm like, I need to change thumbnails, all that kind of stuff. And this young lady reached out. She said, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. She said, but your show has too much fluff. If you just get to the point, you probably have more listeners. She said, I've been listening for six minutes and 27 seconds, and I still have not gotten to the part that I want to hear. And I was like, oh. So my first instinct was to say, look, this is the format of the show, which is what I said. That's exactly what I said. Unfortunately, that's the format of the show, right? But then I thought about it. If the listeners are not listening because I have too much fluff and I'm struggling trying to find news every day anyway, why not just change the format just a little bit? So I changed the format because I felt like I needed to, I needed to grow and I wasn't growing. And the reason I know I wasn't growing is because I'm 1,045 episodes in today, make my 40, 1,046 episodes and it has not grown. And I was like, okay, Audrey, you can be, you can let your ego get the best of you or you can pivot this show and, and, and make it what you want it to be, which is, you know, a successful podcast is which was what I want. Right now I could tell you, I love talking about business. Um, I love talking about that. You get me started on that. I won't stop. If you go back and listen to my talk business Tuesday episodes, you'll see, I don't mind talking about business like that is because that's something I do every single day. I'm the president of the Gwinnett, Gwinnett Women's Chamber. That's a business. You know, it's a voluntary business, but it's a business. I'm the president of that. 
and then I'm the president of a noise media network, which is my media company. I'm helping clients create media. I'm doing a lot of things. So I could talk about business all day long, every day and twice on Sundays. And I said to myself, you know, there is a lot I can talk about every single day when it pertains to business and technology, because I live in this space every single day. Now I live in Gwinnett County too, but I could tell y'all for real, your girl is hardly ever out there in them streets. I'm hardly ever out there in the streets. So I don't know what's happening most of the time. Someone called me yesterday and they said, are you coming to the parade? I'm like, man, I'm the parade started at 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. I was just finishing up the show. So it was like, yeah, I'm not going to make it because I'm over here working. So I decided to pivot the show because I got feedback from the listeners and from a listener and she was very respectful. You know, she didn't try to kick my back in for real. She's like, and she said, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. It's just got a lot of fluff and I really want what you have to say. And I said, you know what? That's cool. So that's why I titled the show. Why I decided to, you know, change the, my, my format to the podcast after doing one over 1000 episodes. That's the reason because sometimes you have to learn how to pivot, right? You have to learn how to listen to what your listeners are saying, because if your listeners and your readers are telling you something, you're not listening. That's called insanity. You're doing the same thing over and over, expecting to get a different result. And your people are telling you, I don't want that. Like, and I get people that go to my channel and listen. The other thing, the other thing, um, I found interesting was that, um, because I, now I have a, I have a subscription to use music in my show and, um, and, and, and so I can use music. However, if I want to monetize my podcast on YouTube, it can't be monetized because the music that I'm using in the show belongs to somebody else. So I can use the music. But I can't make money off them people music. Now, and I wasn't even thinking about it like that. I'm like, okay, I want music in the show. They would never monetize my channel because I'm using other people's music. And even though I pay for a license to use that music, it's still their music. And their music is, if they're doing their music on YouTube, they have already filed a copyright for it. It's their music. So I'm like shooting myself in the foot all the way around. So you, sometimes you have to, so I'm thinking about that like, okay, so... People are making millions on YouTube. Let's even, let's just, just drop it down. People are making thousands on YouTube, right? Doing shows. Here I am pumping out a show four days a week. So the consistency is definitely there. That was one thing I made a vow to do. When I started Good Morning Gwinnett, I was like, no matter what happens, I will do this show. I knew I was going to be consistent because I made a promise to myself. You're going to be extremely consistent with doing the show. There is no way I could have gotten to over a thousand episodes without being consistent. So I had that part down pat, you know, what I didn't have down pat was the, the money making side of it. I thought just because it was Gwinnett and I could get people to come on and all this kind of stuff, it would be that not working like that. So YouTube is saying, you know, we're paying people, we ain't paying, we're not going to pay you. Because you're playing other folks' music, and although they they have given you permission to play their music in your show, we can't pay you because we're paying them. So why we pay you? I'm like, what the what? So still, it didn't click to me. Audrey, you need to change something about that because I love what I love. I l- listen to what I just said. I loved what I loved. YouTube didn't love what I love. Neither does the listener, but I love what I love. Now I could keep going, doing, keep on doing what I love, but what I love even more is podcasting. So much as I like playing the music throughout the whole thing, you know, it's a good thing. I'm going to play music, but it's going to be music that I create. And you know why? Because with AI, I can create my own songs and play one song and I'm only going to play one song in the middle. That's it. I'm going to play one song today because from my, from epidemic, because this is my first episode and I'm just sharing my story. So I don't know if I really got anything to sell with this episode. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I am, I I want you guys to hear what I'm saying. The message is this. You have to listen to your audience. If your audience is saying, this is what I want, give them what they want. That young lady said, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but it's six minutes and 27 seconds in and I have not gotten to the part that I want to hear. So my title was great. It hooked her. And so I know my title is great on a lot of the episodes because I see views, but I don't see views past like five, 10, six, seven. I'm like, why? Well, it's too much fluff. 
And God knows if I go back and edit all those episodes, I probably would be and change the thumbnails. My channel probably would shoot up, but that is way too much work for me to do. So I'm not doing that, but I will start fresh today. I will start fresh today with this where I am right now. You heard my new intro. I did that yesterday. You're going to hear a new outro, right? I'm going to be talking about tech. I love tech. I love AI. I think it's I think smart tools will help you grow your business. I'm going to be talking about smart tools. I'm going to be reviewing smart tools. I'm going to be talking about success stories. And then on Fridays, every you know, every so often I may have a guest, like a real live video guest that come on on Fridays and we talk about whatever it is we talk about. I'm probably going to have community leaders from Gwinnett County come in, come on on Friday, but Monday through Thursday it's just you and I baby talking business and tech. That's what it is. That's the new format. That's the format that I'm actually happy about. That's the format that I'm really looking forward to doing. That's the new format. You know, and 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 I know for some people that like the horoscopes, they're going to be upset, but listen, y'all not subscribing to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not supporting your girl. I got like the little coffee thing in the in the in the in the box. Hey, if you really like this show, buy me a cup of coffee. I have yet to receive a cup of coffee, not one. So, I know y'all like the horoscopes. I get it. I know y'all want to know what the national days are. I get that as well. But the show is not growing. And it's what I love doing. And I love talking to entrepreneurs. I love talking about entrepreneurs. I love talking about business. So I have to go where it's going to make the most sense right now. Now, I had a vision for Good Morning Gwinnett in the studio, right? This was my vision. This is still my vision. And I swear, the vision... Even though this is the vision I've had for a long time, it just became even more clear to me like this morning. Like, Audrey, we have news news outlets here in Gwinnett. Okay, you could be a different one or a new one, but you don't have to be. Be the business out business news outlet here in Gwinnett. Nobody's doing that, Audrey. I'm like, yeah, I can be in the studio saying, good morning, Gwinnett. Your, your daily dose of morning business and tech. Yes, your girl got a whole new, listen, listen. She, one young lady made me think you are, you're missing the ball, Audrey. You're dropping the ball on the game. People are out there getting the paper and you getting the bag. You dropping the ball. You got your bag is sitting on somebody's desk because you over here want to do it your way because that's what you want to do. You like the podcast. I have to speak at PodFest next week talking about podcasting. I think I'm going to talk about pivoting. I think my talk was supposed to be about how to help people with, leverage AI, but I think I want to talk about pivoting because I had to do a serious pivot. This is a serious pivot for me because right about now I'm playing a song. So I'm going to go to a song and I'm going to come back. We're going to keep talking about what you need to do to pivot because sometimes you just got to, you got to make the pivot baby. And, and at the, at the same time, make sure you're going to be happy with it. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. I'm going to a song. We get down to the beat, y'all. We get down, down to the beat, y'all. We get down to the beat, y'all. It's like we're not going anywhere. Maybe it's because there's something in the air. Mm. And I don't even care, no, no. I don't even care anymore. It's like we're losing our track of time. I just got
talking business and tech today baby i gotta get used to saying that y'all now listen this is my problem i love music so for me not to be able to play music at all it's gonna crush me so that being said tomorrow i'm gonna sit here today i'm gonna find i'm gonna make me a song it's gonna be an original song that belongs to me and i'm gonna play it tomorrow in the middle of the show now listen, I'm giving, I'm giving, I'm giving, y'all. I'm giving. And trust me, I don't want the show to be so long, drawn out where I'm talking. That's why I want to break it up. So I'm only going to play one song in the show. Tomorrow, it will be an original song. Every day, it will be a brand new original. I'm, as a matter of fact, I'm going to mess around and have a whole album of songs. Y'all need to follow that journey. If nothing else, listen to the songs and tell me what you think about them. This not my song. That's Gloria Tell's song, which she's one of my favorite artists on my from my playlist. Um, but I'm going to create some new original music today and I'm going to play it tomorrow in the show because I, I need one song at least. Give me one song, y'all. I mean, I thank you. I thank you for sharing your comments with me, but I need to play one song, just one. Um, now, so now what else does Good Morning Gwinnett and Tell? So I have the podcast. The podcast is what I do uh, Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Now it's going to be about business and tech. I'm excited about that. I can even see the studio again, except I'm talking business and tech. So I'm excited about that. There is also the Good Morning Gwinnett website where I will focus more on lifestyle. So the podcast is going to be there, but there are also articles there. There's news about Gwinnett County there. So you can still find out stuff about Gwinnett County when you go to the website. But my baby and my main focus is business. My North Star is business and tech. That's my North Star. So when you go to the website, and I've had that part set up since the beginning of last year where tech and business were like the center of the podcast and everything else was kind of on the side. Now it's going to be more of that. The news will be on the side where it always is. And so it'll be articles and stuff like that. The county, Gwinnett County puts out great content that they don't mind sharing. So I'm going to have that on the website under video. So the, the show is still, the, the, what the business itself is still very much Gwinnett focused this, the podcast is going to be more business focused, business and tech focused, because that's why I spend, this is what I love doing. So I love doing the blogs and all this stuff on my website, but I love doing my podcast. This is the content that's syndicated across all of these platforms that I'm totally not leveraging the right way. So that being said, I am starting to, you know, I'm starting almost from scratch somewhat, but it's okay. I'm okay with that because I, I know what I'm doing. I know that I will be pushing people to the website to, to, so I can get traffic to the website because they have listened to the show and they want to go back and they want to listen to past episodes of the show or they want to go back and they want to read the transcript. They want to go back and read the article that's accompanying the show. Like each show is going to have an article that accompany it. Like I'm doing the show right now, but if you want to read my real story, um, you know, because you may not have time to actually listen to the podcast, I'm speaking too fast or whatever the case may be. It, there's an article that I've created already that goes with this episode that talks about why I decided to change the format of, of my show after recording over a thousand episodes. So there's an article for that and it's right there on the website. So, you know, I can point you to goodmorninggwinnett.com and you can go and look at, if you want to know about Gwinnett County, there's news there. There are going to be tips there. There's videos there. That's going to tell you about Gwinnett County. But if you want to know about business and tech, you can also find that there too. So I'm excited about the way that the new, um, the new format is. I got to get used to it, but here's the thing. 
I will be using my good friend's AI this evening to create me some songs. Yep, I'm crazy. It's cold outside today, too. It's 33 degrees. I'm not going anywhere. I got some things I need to return to Amazon and to uh, HSN. I was going to go do that today. It's too cold. I'm not going. I'll go tomorrow. Right? Putting off tomorrow. Putting off today. Putting off for tomorrow what I could do today. I am. Yep. I Because I don't feel like going out. It's too cold. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to be here talking about all things business, all things tech. You can learn about podcasting. You can learn about marketing. You can hear my real stories about my ups and downs of what I've gone through. But how I really want to grow this podcast. So, I have a big, ambitious goal. I've been had this goal forever to get to 1 million downloads. I'm at 29,000 downloads. So, I'm averaging about 29 downloads an episode. I'm over 29,000. I'm almost at 30,000. I want to increase that number to a million downloads by the end of this year. So I'm still at the beginning of the year. I got, what, 11 months to get to that number. Now, if I fall short, I do, but my goal is to get to a million downloads. That's the goal. And so um, that's the goal. The goal is to get to, you know, 100,000 people visiting a website a month. You know, I got big goals. And then 2025, my goal is to have a studio. I have an office right now, but I want a full-blown studio new studio that housed Good Morning Gwinnett, your business and tech, your daily dose of business and tech. I'm loving it. I'm getting used to it, but I'm loving your daily dose of business and tech. Join me every morning at 10 a.m., Monday through Thursday, for your daily dose of business and tech. Yes, I'm getting used to that. You got to pivot. Here's the thing. Sometimes pivoting can be scary. And was I scared? Yeah, I was. But I, I wanted, I want this to be such a powerful platform for people to my fear of pivoting had to be overcome by my fear of wanting to be successful at this thing you know i have to trust the process people if people have put processes and process processes or processes they those are in place right people that have come behind me and are doing extremely well with their podcast they have learned the pod process i follow them i watch them but for five years i wanted to do my own process it wasn't working it wasn't working the way I needed it to work, you know, that it wasn't working. So moving forward, I will follow the process. I will trust the process because the process work. If you work it, it's like, it's like when you go to Jenny Craig, right? Not Jenny Craig, Weight Watchers. If you go to Weight Watch, Watchers and you follow the process, the process will work if you work it. If you don't work the process, it won't work. If you don't trust the process, you, it won't work. So I am trusting the process. I'm trusting that me making this change is going to grow my show. And I'm excited to see what that looks like. I'm changing thumbnails on YouTube. I'm changing the way the artwork look. I'm changing the way I, I'm, I'm creating a brand with the colors and the type of, uh, 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 the type of artwork that you see in the episode. I'm creating my own custom music to play on my show. One song in between me talking I'm excited to see what's about to happen. I'm not, my own music, baby. My own music. That's that's what AI does for you. It lets you be extremely creative. So I'm creating my own music to play on my own show. That way I don't get copyright strikes and all that kind of stuff because I'm playing somebody else's music. It's my own original music that I'll be creating for my show made by me. I'm super excited about that. So listen. I just wanted to share, I wanted to give you an opportunity to find out what the show is going to be about moving forward. If you like business and tech, if you're thinking about starting a business, if you are you're thinking about starting tech, you know, you want, if you want to sponsor the show because now you like it because I'm talking business and tech, I know it's going to grow because now I feel comfortable putting this show on LinkedIn. Like I didn't feel comfortable before. That's my largest, my largest audience of people is on LinkedIn and I never shared my show there. Because I didn't feel comfortable. I felt like it was just too much. I felt like it was too much fluff. I felt like LinkedIn was, it was a lot of fun for me to do. But I felt like LinkedIn is such a serious platform. So I didn't want to put it on there. Now, when I had, when I have guests on the video side of it, oh, I definitely streamed LinkedIn. Absolutely not a problem. But because I don't have that guest video guest Monday through Thursday, it's like, ah, can't put this on faith on LinkedIn. That's about to change. This episode will be on LinkedIn today. This episode will be everywhere today, right? Places that I've never put an episode before will get this episode. 
because I know what I'm, what I'm trying to do. And I had to put, push my ego back to the back of my head so I can make moves. Right. And that's what you got to do sometimes. Don't let your ego get the best of you. Don't let your ego stand in the way of your success. Don't let your ego stop you from hearing what you really need to hear. Because they say, when you're ready, when you're ready to learn, the teacher will appear. I said, I wanted to have a successful show. Who would have thought I would have been on YouTube yesterday scrolling through and that episode was old. Like she, I don't even know how I saw it. The episode that she commented on, I think it was like six months old or something. And she was like, look, I like it, but I, it's too much fluff. And I just happened to be scrolling through my channel, like looking at it, doing an audit on the channel. Like, Oh yeah, I hate this way. This look, these thumbnails are ugly. You know, I'm doing all these things. So now I'm looking at the brand, like, okay, my, my gold, my colors are blue and gold, blue and yellow. I need to change the branding up on that. And I'm scrolling through and here this woman's uh, comment pops up and I'm like, Oh, okay. First I got annoyed. Like, Ugh, that's my show. It's the way I do it. Right. And I'm telling you, it was like probably a minute and a half where I was like, yeah, but she said she don't want to hear that crap. Not that my show was crap. Cause I love doing it that way. But listen, I'm a smart woman. When, I, when you tell me something, I'm gonna listen. And she said, I want to get to the, or to get to the meat of what you're trying to say. That being said, I'm going to stop talking. Listen, thank you for listening. If you are in the Gwinnett County area, the, 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 the Gwinnett Women's Chamber of Commerce is hosting the first ever Georgia AI Summit this coming Friday at 9 a.m. If you would like to attend this summit, please, by all means, do. Um, registration closes tonight at 11.59 p.m. If you have not bought your ticket, registration will close. We will not be taking registrations at the door. So don't come to the door to my, I missed it. Yes, you did. We're not taking it. So, because we need to have a head count of how much food we need to get. We need to have a head count to make sure we have enough seats in, in the auditorium. So if we take people at the door, somebody's going to be sitting in the hallway. Do you want to do that after you pay $149 to attend an event? I don't think you do. So you can go to GwinnettWomensChamber.com, click on gas, Georgia AI Summit, and buy a ticket. Scroll to the bottom, buy a ticket. Um, that's happening this Friday at Atlanta Tech Park, 107 Technology Parkway in Peachtree Corners. We got a great lineup of guests. I'm so excited to hear what they have to say. So be sure to come out and check that out. That's this Saturday. Now, tomorrow, the Gwinnett Women's Chamber of Commerce is having this. It's a timeout mixer. It's a networking mixer we do once a month. We're going to be at Sam's on Main over in Grayson. It's gonna If it's cold, we may cancel it. If it's well, not cold, because if it's cold, we can still go. But if the weather is bad, we have inclement weather, you know, whether it's raining and snowing or whatever it's going to do, um, we may close. Speaking of snowing, my brother was like, I'm off today because they closed us. The, now, let me tell y'all something. My brother and I, we grew up in New Jersey, and my husband, we grew up in Jersey. So we got snow, snow. He's going to get his hair cut because they closed the school. I thought that was hilarious. There's no snow. It's just cold. Anyway, check us out. Go to Gwinnett Women's Chamber. You'll see all of our events there. But tomorrow we'll be at Sam's Domain and Grayson. All right? All right. So all I got for you today. I'll be back again tomorrow with another episode of Business and Technology. You're listening to the Good, the good Morning Gwinnett Show. Stay safe out there, my friends. Connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn at Good Morning Gwinnett. I'll be back with another great episode tomorrow. Talking business, talking tech. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney. Stay safe out there. And until next time, my friends, until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you your morning dose of business and technology Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. If you enjoyed this episode, subscribe today and share it with a friend so you never miss an episode. For past episodes, visit us on the web at www.goodmorninggwinnett.com.